Okay, hi. Uh, today I will show you how to use the user form in uh, Excel. For that, uh, I'll show you what is the use of uh, user form. So user forms uh, are used to create a pop-up in your Excel. So I'll show you. Here. So this is the pop-up. Uh, where this similar kind of things you can create. Uh, not only the pictures, you can add a lot of uh, input boxes or you can um, pop up important information or and so many other application it has. Okay, so first I will show you how to use it. So you just create one blank Excel sheet. So before that, as you know, you have to save file as save as Excel SM. Okay. Okay. So for everything, we have to use a developer. So when you open uh, Visual Studio, Visual uh, sorry, uh, basic application. Okay. Yeah. So here it will create with the big book too. So here. When you open, you will have only uh, this many uh, functions. So here you can click and you can go for insert. So what you want, we are looking at user form. So you can add user form here. So I'll show you how to add the picture inside. So here, yeah. You have to use uh, toolbox. You can draw it here. Okay, right click on this property. Here you will find a location where you can. Picture. Here picture. So you have to here go for browse and okay. And there's a user form name, so which also there you can change by clicking on the user form, not on the picture, on the user form, not on the name. So you have to go here with the caption. So what caption you'd like to give for it? Pick, okay. But now the name of the user form is user form one. So I'll just save it. There's a simple process. So it is done. So now I will go to my book. Here I'll add uh, insert command button. Double click on this. So here I will write it as a user form. When I click this, I want to open user form one dot should show. One dot show. This is very simple. And okay. So I am in design mode. So in developer you have design mode and insert. So design mode. So design mode means you cannot. It will not work. Like. The lack like like editing, so you cannot do any, uh, you cannot run any command using design mode when you are in design mode. So you have to turn off the design mode and click, so the picture will open. Okay, and another uh, one which I want to show uh, this is user form which will be useful for doing so many other um, um, work, but. Uh, Another one uh, that I will explain later, but before that, I just want to show the other uh, important function in uh, Excel. Uh, okay, so that's with the uh, command. Uh, command. So you have to go for insert command. Okay, so I'll show it as show or hide. It will show. So next, I will go here format command. Format command and here I have to go for color and lines. Here you can go fill effects. Go here with picture, select picture from file. I'll select okay. Okay, so here you have let's say you are doing uh, so many things and you want to look into certain table most of the time. So that time, what you can do is you can insert. Uh, uh, picture here so let me just show you something
or graph whatever it is you, if you want to show let's say i want to have this table okay yeah we save it as the table number table five okay so then okay here when i'm doing my work i want to look into the table every time i have to go to the port and i have to refer so instead of that what i'll do i'll just go here and set comment and you can show show or hide command so then you can select if you need to select not inside you should select border you should select the border of this and format command so here you have to go for a lot of options are there you have to go for colors and lines fill assets here we are, we are going with the picture and then we are selecting from our saved location that is table 5 that is table 5 yeah insert done Okay, so you, we have our table box, so you can you can make it as big you want. Okay, and you don't want to show it every time. So what you can do is right click on the cell where you have this hide command. So let's say when you're working, you want to see here, you can just slide. Okay, you can note down the value and and it will disappear by itself. And I think this will be very useful. Yeah. So another thing is yeah so use a form and uh, how to use the command box for showing this plane picture is done next thing i want to show is uh, uh, drop down box how to create a drop down box okay so you're already have done so let's say you have certain uh, number properties and with thickness breadth and that so you can enter in a table so after that we need to have a like cell where you want to create a designated uh, drop down box so what you can do is i'll create here again okay i'll select this data data validation any value list and then the the forward arrow shows the source like if you click so then you have to select from the first cell to the last the first cell should always be the first column should always be your uh, value for which you are uh, looking the thickness or breadth okay okay sorry actually like um, uh, the value should not be a table it should be uh, one single column so okay so now i have my table okay so the table uh, what are the values you're getting so you don't want to look at every time every single row or for the thickness or breadth so what you can do is you have already created a drop down box so using the vlookup function you can link it to the, your table so that when you change the value here the all the relevant let's say one or four okay so you will have all five hundred and thousand five hundred so this is just an example don't there is no yes and one or four Okay, so I will show you how to do that. So, okay, I'll do here. So, I'll just copy this thing. Okay, so here I want to create VLOOKUP. So, VLOOKUP, so it will show. Okay, and after that, it will show what you have to do. So, you just have to carefully read and do it. So, VLOOKUP value, I want to look up this value, comma, table array. So, table array, the column should always be your uh, the SMB or whatever the value for which you are looking the value so you cannot start from here so you should always start with this and then comma and column index column index nothing but on which column of your table the the value which you are looking is located so here for me uh, i am looking for thickness so thickness is located in column two one two so I'll add two okay the column yeah. and then comma and then whether you're looking for uh, approximate mode or exactness so i want exact match so i'll select false enter so this is done so let's say if i'm trying to drag what happens it will show not applicable because this is a table so but when you drag it this it will it will come down because we are not locked this cell so actually exactly it should be here but when you're dragging 
when you're dragging here so this also will move so for that what you have to do is you have to put a dollar symbol so that so that the values which will not move so we don't uh, we have to lock those uh, cells so here you can use f4 function to lock it so that uh, uh, it will uh, the values will not move so you can see here now so the values remain same and now i want to change the breadth breadth is located in my third column so i'll change here and uh, depth is located in fourth so i'll just uh, i'll just select this and i'll go to formula bar and then i'll do i'll make the changes okay and also similar to this we have h lookup i'll show you here here h lookup so where earlier here in this sheet we are looking values downward so that is nothing but uh, like the values what we are looking is downward okay like you can select and in that's called vertical lookup v lookup is nothing but vertical lookup h lookup is nothing but you can look values horizontally let's say you have a horizontal table here the tables are listed this is in a vertical manner okay this is vertical and then when you want to h lookup the values are located in a horizontal line okay but the both but the both uh, work is same it looks for the values in horizontal or vertical so here we have 1.4 i want to look for 1.4 it goes 1.4 and what is the value related to 1.0.126 that is 0 0.126. so 0 0.1 gives you a value okay yeah so yeah so this excel sheet has uh, like pin support uh, like basic this is a very basic sheet so which you can uh, modify if required and yeah so i will explain something about the pin support and fix support let's say you have uh, uh, let's say uh, the condition okay so if if your bolts are generally inside the flange so we call it as that is a pin support if there is no bolt outside this is a general term but if the distance between the bolts or uh, high so we can consider it it will carry a certain amount of moment as well okay uh, like as the lever arm distance increases the moment carrying capacity is always increases this is pin support and for fixed this is a fixed where you have your bolts are outside the flanges this is your flange and the bolts are outside your outside of the flange and then okay uh, this is the same like uh, where you have additional stiffness too these are all the stiffness okay so we can divide the base plate of using stiffness so that you can reduce the thickness of a base plate so here the base plates are divided uh, here and here so that edge condition will become two side supported base plate Okay, so the same has been uh, given in the Excel sheet as well. So here, uh, uh, in the current example, what is here in the Excel sheet, it is has only uh, like one side supported. So it becomes like this side uh, after the flange, it becomes like cantilever, and inside it is three side supported. So we have to design basically for two condition. Okay, so this is for cantilever condition, and another this is for three sided support. So you can find these values easily using. Uh, uh, Mokanov's chart where you have uh, values for uh, uh, particular condition based on your A1 and D1 so values. So this also you can see in Moody's chart as well. So here uh, the explanation is given and you can get a moment coefficient. So how to use that it is explained here. So if you go through you will can get it easily. Okay and here. And uh, basically, uh, when you're doing uh, any connection design, so first we have to check the base pressure. So as per code, yeah. So as per code, uh, the ba uh, bearing pressure should be not exceed should not be more than 0.6 of FCK. Okay. 
this is what has been given in same so same has been done here then fck here so hence the base pressure what you are doing is load by area so that should not be more than 11.25 that's what um, we are checking here so whatever the load the compression load divided by area of the base plate 300 by 350 so that is the area of the base plate okay and another important tool is let's say you have certain value here you don't know where from where it is coming so you have to go here formula uh, track uh, precedence so here you can track from where okay this value i got it from this location okay and let's say certain uh, okay okay i will clear remove arrows let's say certain output so you don't know from where uh, like this value is helping how many other values or depending on this value let's say this value is, is used here in this cell and in this cell so you can track that value which are the um, um, formulas or outputs which are dependent on particular values so you can remove the arrow so this is very useful okay so let's say i want to see 7.1 so okay from where it is coming from so 7.1 is coming from this value as well as this it the 7.1 output is dependent on this if you double click you can see here this 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 okay so let's say for if you if your excel should become too much lengthy and you, then that time it is very difficult to track so that time you can just uh, use these arrows so that you will not have much issues in uh, uh, understanding of how it is connected and you can make changes accordingly yeah and also we have Mukhanov's chart and Moody's chart so which you can use for getting a plate edge condition <clears throat> generally uh, we design anchor bolt for carrying tension and sometimes if the shear force is less we use anchor bolt for carrying uh, shear as well so if the shear is too high that time what we'll do we will use use shear key or shear lug i'll show you what is shear lug okay here you can see this is a shear lug so which helps in carrying additional shear and also another important thing is uh, while doing uh, base plate design we should always make sure that uh, it is not failing in concrete breakout as well okay let's say if you have a footing no uh, like pedestal okay so pedestal and if you're placing your anchors so uh, very close to the edge what will happen it will break out okay so here you can see so if you're placing your bolt very near to your concrete chance are there it may fail because of tension or shear so we need to consider this fact as well while doing uh, design okay so make sure that it has a sufficient um, length okay and it's placed sufficient inside so that it will not fail in concrete breakout and this is very important parameter because most of the time our steel our anchor bolts has a high capacity of carrying the loads but uh, if the if the adjustment is very insufficient and it the anchor bolts will come out, come out but still anchor bolt will be intact it is not it is not a failure of your steel but it is a failure of failure in the concrete so while doing base plate this this factor also need to be considered very much so this excel sheet you can use a lot of formulas and functions are used so uh, you can practice and you can learn so if you have any doubt you can uh, um, leave it in the comment box or you can send me a mail. Thank you.